How big does our debt have to get before the other side of the aisle joins us in getting our fiscal house in order? How big? It's $14 trillion now. $16 trillion? $20 trillion? $50 trillion? I mean, how big does it have to get before the other side of the aisle admits that we're spending too much money? I will tell you, I, I've been studying some of the details of our budget and how we got into this mess. And I would be remiss if I did not comment on something that I heard earlier today. When someone said, well, the Bush tax cuts created our debt. That's how we got into debt. Completely untrue. I took a chart that showed our revenue year by year as a percentage of the economy. And after 9-11, certainly the economy slowed down and our revenues, our tax receipts decreased significantly. But I can tell you that by 2007, our tax receipts were back up to about 18.5% of GDP in 2007, and that was before the meltdown of the housing market in 08. But that was while we had the Bush tax cuts in place, 18.5%. Now, what's interesting is you go back and look at the mid-90s, there are some years that had higher percentage of GDP uh, for revenue, but there are several years that are below that. My point is, whatever contribution tax rates have had on revenue, the primary driver of how much revenue we get in a particular year is, is whether we are having economic growth. That is the primary driver. That is the primary determining factor of how much money comes into the coffers of the United States government. The idea that we got in this mess because we are somehow as Americans not taxed enough is ludicrous. All you have to do is look at the spending pattern and the trajectory of the debt that you just put up there. It follows the same path. Revenue, relatively steady over the decades at about an average of 18% of GDP. And expenditures, spending, off the charts, particularly in the last few years. And I just want to be real clear here. Both parties are to blame. The Congress is to blame. The, ho the House is to blame. The Senate, the White House. There's plenty of blame to go around. Plenty of blame to go around. That's not the issue. The issue is how we fix it. And we first have to recognize that we have a spending problem. I yield.